Hello everyone, in this video, this is a Volvo 2004 and on this video I will show you how can you replace this fabric on this door panel. Uh, sometimes it is vinyl, sometimes it is leather, but on this occasion it is fabric. And this is typical, this is normal on this uh, on this kind of car, Volvagen, uh, it is typical this to happen. Uh, you have to remove the fabric and see it is sticky the old material it is sticky i will show you how you can clean this because when it's not sticky you can use a wire brush or you can use a sandpaper even a wire a wireless a grinder but on this occasion we cannot use none of those i will show you how you can clean it and i will show you how you can wrap it with the new material So first thing first, you got to remove all this fabric, just be careful, don't make a big mess. And then you can wrap it like that, but it's way easy to remove this plastic. And this plastic, because it is 2004, just be careful when, when you are going to remove it. I'm going to use a spatula and I'm going to use this. Never use a punch hole, never use that kind of tool but you might uh, break it. You see, have a lot of scratches right here. So in case if the car is, is for a customer, let the customer know. Because have a lot of scratches. You have a click right here. You have a like four click right here. You have to remove, uh, pull it up, and then uh, remove this plastic. Okay, I just went to get this one because with this one it's way easier. But in case if you don't have it, uh, you can use something like this or a spatula. So I'm going to use this. I just put it on right there and you will hear like noise. There is a click right there. And right here should be more click. See, it's out. And you can see one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And when you put it back, just make sure this little plastic pin go inside those clips. So now it is just disconnected. So it's disconnected. And right here is one plastic, so make sure to put it back, just remove it. So this plastic is out. And now it is time to clean it. This is a sticky, a sticky old uh, material. If you use, you use a wire brush, it will come out. But you have to use something else to remove the sticky. Because you cannot put the new material like that. So how do you do this? Simple. You need a degreaser. Put a lot of degreaser, a lot of degreaser. Then, a towel. So basically all right here. So as you can see, without the brush, wire brush, without the grinder, I clean it with the greaser. Now, let it dry for a little bit, then you have to sand it. Now it is dry, get a sound paper and sand it. Be careful, don't scratch this plastic and don't scratch this plastic. So if you don't have a skill using a sandpaper, put a masking tape all around. 
masking tape. That way you minimize the risk of scratching those plastic. I'm going to sand it. I already sand it right here. And I'm going to use these sticks to sand it right there. Okay, when you're done sanding, you gotta get the measuring tape, a measurement from right here to right here. And whatever it is, you have to give one inch extra and one inch extra. Same thing, up and down. Measurement, whatever it is, plus one inch extra. I'm going to put a one layer or one a thickness foam right here first. And then I will put the material. Okay, the material that I will use, it is this fabric. This fabric will be uh, right here. And then, but before that, I will put this layer of uh, uh, 1A uh, thickness uh, foam for padding. It is very important to put padding on it. Otherwise, I uh, will feel too hard. Original have padding and you see me removing. So first, I will put a uh, glue on this part. I will use a, a glue gun, but in case if you have a, a glue gun, you have to apply glue with a brush by hand. Everything by hand. On this board, then on the phone, and then after that, on the phone and then on the fabric by hand with a brush, not excuse. So I will use this. And again, if you don't have the skill putting glue without putting glue on this area right here and this area right here, put a masking tape all around. I will put glue without putting masking tape right here. Right here, I just reduce the pressure with the glue. Okay, right there. So I'm going to apply glue right here. Did you see? I apply glue only in this area, nothing right here. Thank you, right here. To let it dry, then I will give more pressure. I will give more pressure <laughs> the glue that I am using is called Land Down Tap and Trim Glue. That's the glue that I am using. Land Down Tap and Trim Glue. Type, type that on the uh, Google. Google Chrome, and you will see uh, that pro. It is a very good glue, uh, strong glue, and that's what I use for convertible tap, headliner, door panel, dashboard. That's what I use, and that's what most of the people who do upholstery use that kind of glue. I will let it dry for about four minutes, and I will apply glue to this piece, but I'm not going to show you how to put glue on this because basically it is the same. Apply glue without a uh, Living like a spot without glue. Okay, it is dry. I can tell you it is dry because I put my hand and I put this piece and don't glue exactly I apply pressure. I'm going to leave the phone half inch extra all around. Oh, it's a bad. Okay. The phone has extra. So, but on the top, I will leave it like half inch extra. That way I don't have to trim it later. 
that is with a half X on the top because that is the part that I will tuck it in. So that is had the X already. And then I will glue the rest right here, get dirty. So just make sure when you glue the foam, don't leave it on the air. No air bubble. Very important. No air bubble. I have to cut the foam half inch extra all around, but I'm not going to do it right now. So right now what I'm going to do is put glue. See right here, we have extra. I just will trim, it, trim a little bit right here. And a little bit right here. And right here. Right here I have to cut, but okay. The phone is glued to the board, to a door panel board. Okay. Now, same thing. You get the measuring tape and you measure in the fabric. The fabric is this. And it had extra. I will put glue right here and I will put glue right here. I will show you how you can put glue right here, but not right here because I have to move my camera, I have to move my glue gun and things like that. But it's basically will be the same. Glue right here and glue right here. You can see no spot with a glue. If you don't have a glue, a glue gun, you have to do this process with uh, by hand, with brush. Right here, I haven't put glue because right there is doesn't need it. It's only to right uh, right here. This part it is crucial. Crucial. You might ask why you didn't glue the phone to the fabric and then come with those two pieces and glue it to right here. Sometimes, maybe you haven't seen me doing that, but on this time I don't do it. Why? Because the fabric is a heavy duty fabric. And right here, if I glue the phone with the fabric first, right here might create a mark right there. That's why I don't glue the fabric with the phone together first. I am doing it this way. Glue the foam with the uh, door panel board first and then glue the fabric. That way, I am like a, a prevent a mark right here to happen. And same thing right here. So we'll let it dry for about three minutes. And then I come with the fabric. So I will let extra like half inch on the top and then I will trim the rest. That way I don't have to cut the top half inch right there. And I will bring it. It's not a straight right here, so I have to put a half inch right there. And because the shape that it have, right there and right there. Half inch right there, half inch right there. And right here, this more. But I will trim that later. So you have to wrap like this. Don't create too much pressure. It is not necessary. Now pummel your hand. 
and make sure uh, no wrinkle, no air bubble either. Make sure that I will clean this part later. And right here, right here, like I say, it is crucial right there. And the rest, it is so easy. Just pull it right here and right there, the corner. And I got this area right here. I just have to cut it right here. To cut, uh, you have to uh, know where to cut. Touch where the, where the plastic edge it is. And right there is the edge. You will cut it one quarter uh, away from that edge, all around. One quarter away. If you don't know where the plastic edge it is, just make create pressure and you will find the edge. You can mark if you want. I don't mark, I just will cut a little bit and then I will cut a uh, layer, whatever is necessary. I just cut right there. And I know I have to cut more, but that will be later. So now I just have to worry about this part. The rest of this piece of cake right here. Any mistake right here will be sonorable. It is fabric, it is heavy duty fabric, it doesn't stretch at all. And look the shape that it is that it has the door panel right here. If I glue the phone to the fabric first and then come to a door panel, this will be so hard. And whatever you try to do will be a wrinkle right there. Like the way I did it, I am pretty sure will be no wrinkle. I just pull it. I will make that. A small cut right here. That way the material can release pressure. Don't use chalk on, on fabric because sometimes no matter how, uh, how hard you try to clean it, the marble is still in there. Just fill the, the gap. There is the gap. You can touch it with the spatula. There is the gap right there. And you will have to cut half inch away from that marble. See right there. Here you have to cut a little bit more. You can do it. Right there is half inch. You will do the same all around this door pen. Right here, I have to touch where the gap it is. Same thing right here. And cut it. got this area I will show you part of this process I am not going to show you everything but I am pretty sure you will get my idea now you will need a spatula make sure that spatula be like this not sharp be like this not sharp like this not sharp because if it is sharp you can scratch the plastic or you can damage the door panel not short, and I will use this too. So simple. Right here, you have to create pressure right here. If I have to trim a little bit more, I will. I will clean that part later on with heavy duty degrees. So you see right there, you have to tuck it in. The half inch material, you have to tuck it in. On this door panel, I give a half inch extra. On some other, a door panel, it has to be a quarter of an inch extra, like that. This it is easy compared to some other door panel. You might ask it, why you don't remove the door panel? Why you, you don't remove this piece and take it to the table and wrap it with material? It is way easier to do it this way. Other way, I have to separate this piece and this piece come with a melted click to put it back you have to have like a machine. I had that machine. I don't know if you are following me on my English, on my Spanish YouTube channel, on my Spanish YouTube channel, I have a lot of this kind of process using that machine. But for those who don't have that machine to melt uh, the plastic click, that's what I am doing this way. 
other way, I have to remove the door, take it to my table, separate this plastic, wrap this plastic, put it back uh, using the same click or put it back with a small screw or put it back with uh, uh, some kind of heavy duty glue. Uh, uh, I don't recommend you to do it that way if you are learning because you will need like a, a some experience, some skill doing doing it the other way. Just be careful with the plastic. Don't scratch the plastic. I am not creating pressure to the plastic. I just tuck it in. Sometimes I put a heavy duty degreaser right here when it's vinyl or, or leather. But this time I am not using degreaser. And I will show you this area and then I will do the other one behind the scene. There is a small wrinkle right there. I have to make that small wrinkle disappear. I have to make it. No matter what, I have to make that small wrinkle disappear. So I just hold it with my finger. And you can see it now. Right here I have a small wrinkle too. I have to make it disappear. And there is it. It's gone. Okay. Perfect. So I'm just going to show you from here to here. Right here, I just cut it uh, one quarter away from the plastic edge. A quarter of an inch. It's going to connect it. And this go like this. Remember, right there is a clay. Make sure to clean those those clip. Nothing should be on the way because the plastic right here uh, will get exactly inside those clip. And that it is. And then you have to put this other plastic right there. And that's it. I will clean it and you will see it later. You see me doing the whole process right there. I just show you um, the process, how you can do it. It is hard, all depend. If you go with a negative mentality, it will be super, super, even impossible to do it. But if you go with a positive mentality, you will be ending doing it. So thank you for watching this video. 
I hope you enjoy. If that was the case, don't forget to hit the like button. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.